I'm in a glass case of emotion. What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be starting a new series. This is going to be Captive Minecraft 2. If you don't know what Captive Minecraft is, it's pretty much survival. And every time you get an achievement, this glass case of emotion gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And basically, I just have to survive, create a new world, get all the achievements, and expand my world. Literally. Uh, this is the second one. It's still in beta. Uh, I haven't seen many videos of it uh, yet. People are still on number one, so I thought I'd get head started on number two straight away. So let's get started and get our first achievement. And just watch the case of emotion expand. Oh. Well, is that it? So you may have just noticed there was a bit of a cut there. That's because I screwed up the map already in the first freaking 30 seconds I broke this block here which I found out five minutes later you're not supposed to block break even because apparently it's very important and I spent about two minutes trying to figure out how to get my next achievement and all I've got to do is break these blocks go all the way down and there's actually a really really cool secret room down here that I'll show you in a second once I get down so all I've got to do is break these sand blocks as well it takes a bit of time but down here is something called the Room of Monuments, and there's really cool intro um, when we get down there. And it's like it's it's using a new feature uh, where you can get like little titles on your screen. You'll see it in a minute. Room of Monuments, oh. and we got a chest here with uh, some gold nuggets, wooden sword, a wooden pick, some clay, a wooden spear, a stick, and some more nuggets. Now, what we can do is break this chest here. There we go. So this is Room of Monuments. Apparently, uh, these will light up or something and give us achievements. I haven't quite figured it out yet. It's very brief on the uh, on the website. But then we, what we do is break that, break that, then break this iron block, even though we don't get it, which is quite interesting. It's got to wait, and then we'll fall through here in a second. And now we're in the really cool room, which finally gives us wood. Now this will expand the room even more. Look at that, this is expanding. Sort of my inventory while we're doing this. Look at that, we've expanded the room. Now we've got a whole 3x3 three three area. Well, we are really living the high life here. <laughs> got the bench, keep pushing out. Awesome, let's put down the bench. Now let's use some of this wood that's around us to make ourselves a pickaxe. And there's another chest there, awesome. Oh, actually, that makes me think maybe I should break all the blocks in this room. Just to be sure. And I'm not sure what with all the clay is. I don't know what that's all about, you know. Maybe it's the brick achievement. I don't know. Is there a brick achievement? I really don't think there is, actually. So let's make a pick. A pick. There you go. Let's make a pick. Expand this place. Look at that. Got a whole 5x5 five five area now. And we've got a torch under there. Awesome. You know what? I might as well bring that torch with me. And let's check what's in here. Oh, look at that. Water bowl. There's apples, bowls, poisonous. Regular... Uh, don't try and troll me. That's not a real potato. Hoo-hoo. Such -hoo. troll. Okay, let's see what our next achievement is. We can get uh, time to strike and time to farm. Awesome, so we'll do that now. Uh, time to strike. There we go. And time to farm. Give us that one too. And what I'm going to do is actually compare these swords together just to make a bit more room in our inventory. So let's take this crafting table with us. Awesome. Now, I read on the forum post that it says be prepared to get be prepared to get um be ready to get prepared before you go down to diamond level because this is a custom world uh custom made map. It's not natural terrain. So there's a lot of cool stuff I've seen on the trailer. You can um you can see it for yourself. It goes into X-ray mode. You can see everything there is down below this uh this map and it is really detailed. It's pretty insane. So here we go, let's just make ourselves a stone sword. Oh balls, that's not stone sword, is it a stone pickaxe? Oh well, we've got stone sword now. Getting an upgrade. There we go. Uh will that no that won't. Let's just quickly check our achievements one more time. Time to farm cake. Getting an upgrade, we've already done that. Build a notch apple. Hot topic construct a furnace. 
then acquire hardware. So we're going to quickly construct a furnace, I think. I think that would be the best thing to do right now. Um, dig around a bit as well, because there might be something around here that's quite interesting. That's just the world border. This is going to be the world border again, isn't it? Yeah. This is a real tactical way of playing Minecraft. I'm not going to Oh, wow, I haven't seen this yet. New blocks. Because this is a new snapshot. I haven't played any world yet with this. What is this? Diorite, that's pretty cool. Um, let's make a furnace. Give ourselves hot topic. Look at that. Expanding our ever, ever growing world. It's beautiful. It's absolutely fantastic. What was that? Some kind of weird nature man voice. And welcome to the world of Minecraft. As you see, we see the Earthling trapped in a hole, trying to get achievements to expand his world. I don't know what I'm on right now. I am very tired. I am so tired. Finding a job is hard. Let's talk about that. I just tried applying for a job and it was very hard. It blocked me out of the system so many times because applying online is stupid. And ooh, new blocks. Look at all this. I'm just getting distracted by all these new blocks, aren't I? Really? And let's see what my next achievement. Oh, actually, I just remembered there are loads of chests at the top. Loads and loads of chests at the top. So actually, quickly, let's get a bit more of this cobble because this is quite important. So we might not be able to get a lot in a long time. So let's just get all this stuff. And what mode are we playing on? Normal. Is that locked or I'll just leave it on normal. I don't think there's any rules saying what we have to play on. So there we go. Uh, let's use the sand to get up there because we don't really need to use the red sand. Um, cool. I don't know what that... Okay, that ladder obviously goes up to here. Remove monuments. Yes, it does. I'm guessing it's just a cheaper way of getting out. Um, let's continue going up. So apparently this uh, quartz block thing that's above me, you'll see it in a minute. Uh, this thing here, let's just quickly check on the website again. Uh, it says it is, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? Uh, never cover or break the quartz block, that's where the monument rewards will appear. So every time we complete a monument, we'll get a reward, like a diamond or something cool. Now I'm interested to see if... I'll be able to open this chest. I don't think I'll be able to. Damn it! Damn you! So have we got to really stay down there until we get our next achievement? What's our next achievement? Baking bread? Making a cake? Acquire hardware. Smelt an iron ingot. So have I genuinely just got to now mine around for a bit? I'm just trying to find iron. I'm guessing that is what we've got to do. Stay down there until we get iron. There was that one bit of iron, and I don't know if I've ruined my chances with that because I didn't know how. And that's oh, was I meant to mine around it? Because I don't don't really want to break all this stuff. It's around because it's all pretty cool. Okay, let's just let's attempt to find some iron. And okay, we really should have dug down further before going back up to the surface. This is awesome. <laughs>